cards and coins, key card one, take one. Here's a few tricks you can do with an ordinary deck of cards. First, show the spectator that you've got a regular deck of cards. Have them choose any card that they want to. I'll randomly pick one and I won't even look at it. That's the chosen card. Once they have looked at their card, set the cards back down onto your table. Cut the deck in half. Have them replace the card, just like that. Complete the cut, and now I will try and find the chosen card. Hmm, let's see here now. You can see all the cards are there. They're all completely different. And as I slowly go through the deck, I'm starting to get a feeling over in this area. Hmm. Now think about the card that you chose. Have, wait a second, maybe I'll come back here just a little bit. Is it possible that your card was the seven of diamonds? <laughs> probably wondering, how did I find that card? Well, in this case, I memorize the bottom card on the deck, and it happens to be my favorite card, the Ace of Clubs. Don't forget that. Set the deck down, have your spectator choose a card, and they can choose any card that they want to. Let's just slide out a random card, and this time it is the Seven of Spades. I put the deck back together, Cut the cards, have the spectator place their chosen card over here on this side, because this side of the deck here has the card that I have memorized. This half of the deck goes over here. And now it's easy. All I have to do is look through the deck for the ace of clubs. Now this is where you can take a little time, kind of rummage through the cards, moving cards away, and Hmm, I think that this might be your card, the Seven of Spades. Pretty good, huh? All you have to do is remember that it's right next to your locator card, the Ace of Clubs, and it'll always be just to the right, right over there. Now, once the spectator puts their card back into the, to the deck like this, You've got your two piles. They've looked at a card, and this time uh, we'll put the Ace of Clubs down here, set it up so we know that that is the marking card, and let's say that they chose the Nine of Diamonds. So they take the Nine of Diamonds, place it over here, complete the cut, don't show the bottom card, complete the cut. Now the Ace of Clubs is on top of their chosen card, and if you want to, you can have the spectator make several little cuts, just like that. The Ace of Clubs will most surely stay right next to their card. Then when you spread them out, once again, dig through, look for the locator card. This time it's way over here. There's the Ace of Clubs. So that tells me that their card, the one they chose that time, must have been the Nine of Diamonds.